Hayes' Concord, Massachusetts farm is a hidden gem combining history, heritage, mm. summer, delicious, and a love for good food. Right now, we are growing and harvesting zucchini and summer squash, cucumbers, tomato, green beans, beets, carrots. The farm takes its name from the iconic salt box style house, a classic New England design that has stood on the property for generations. Salt box farm was built by my grandparents in the 40s. My mom grew up there. I spent a lot of time there as a kid. Now, Ben Elliott, a classically trained chef, has gone back to his roots. So I set out trying to figure out how to learn how to be a farmer, which was an amazing adventure. Make a nice bunch out of this. But a question lingered. The produce was bountiful, so how could Elliot use it? After not too much time, I, I realized I really wanted to find a way to marry together the farm and my love for cooking, and eventually we opened the restaurant. Saltbox Kitchen was born just 10 minutes down the road from the farm. And farm fresh breakfast is served. Today they have a strata, which is a salty mix of goodness with vegetables and eggs. The menu and ingredients changing as seasons come and go. We focus on the seasons to kind of inspire us and create menu items that we're excited to cook and to eat ourselves and share it with the community. From breakfast sandwiches. We make a, a frittata with braised greens, and the greens will change depending on the time of year. Right now we're doing with kale and braised beet greens. Two yogurt bowls. And then we use whatever seasonal fruit, like right now we're using peaches and blueberries and wild black raspberries. And with so many tomatoes right now, a spin on a classic has hit the menu. And we're doing a big stuffed tomato. It's kind of a play in a way on the roasted tomato you get with a classic English breakfast. In a world where food often travels thousands of miles to reach our tables, farm to table dining is a return to our roots to be able to take the produce that we and, and other farms in the areas grow and use that produce to create dishes that's healthy and delicious is kind of a dream come true for a lot of chefs. And Chef Ben tells us they do their best to cook with ingredients from their own farm, but they also support other farms in the area. That's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. See you back here tomorrow night.